Hi there, this is a uh, video um, to showing how to set up the new um, custom page via page builder. So when you come to your uh, Play Cricket admin area, if you go to website content and then go down to page builder, this brings up your page build, uh, your page area. Um, so any uh, pages that you've created, um, where they are on your menu, last edits and who has done uh, who has created the page with an edit and delete button we're going to um, add a new page so I'll go and click on new page you have to put in um, the page name so I'm going to use junior activities and then you just need to select what kind of template you'd like to use if you don't want to use any of the templates you can click blank but I'm just going to use this left image one with text. Okay, so it brings me up certain options to the other side and it gives me the um, ability to add extra sections into the page. Um, it also um, lets me know that I've not set it to a menu location at the moment and also I can edit the page's name from in here as well. So I'm just going to add a title to this page and this page is going to be known as um, all stars. So I've got my title of my page there. Now, if I decided that I wanted to move the title for any reason, I've got this here where I can add. Uh, if you hit the blue again, you can add the down arrow and then just move the title around as you wish to, up and down. Let's just go to one of the um, the actual uh, boxes to add information. So this one has a, a an image in it and a text box. So if I again press the a blue button here, and then the edit button, which is the blue pencil, it comes up and it gives me the option to upload an image, and it also gives me a text box here as well. So if I go to the upload image section, and I just want to upload my picture, and the picture I'm uploading is a JPEG file. Um, so I'll just press open and it'll give me the option to crop the image and also to zoom in on the image as well again this is in relation to how big your image is so if you're only using thumbnail images I think it'll ask you to um, to um, make the image larger before you are able to uh, upload it anyway but this is quite a large image so I've got quite a lot of movement where I could move the picture around into this box here to have everything there and if you want to move the box on the screen to make it a bit easier for you you can do that as well once you're happy you've got the image uh, in the right place you press save and then I'll just populate the photo there okay we're just going to add some text into this box as well and um, I can do this by either typing directly into the text box or by doing a copy from a Word document into the text box. And I've just done the copy there. You've also got um, the ability through the text editor to add a link. So I can just press this link, say I press this link button here. And I want my link to be called um, click. Um, sorry, I want it to be called All Stars. can click what kind of um, security you want on the link and then you can also just post in the URL of the link. You see there that even though I have the HTTPS on um, the URL it modifies it down to what I have selected in this box here. And I'll just press OK. Once I'm happy with my article and um, I can just press save and then it will show up here on the previewer for the page design. I've got this next text box here but I actually don't want that one so what I'll do is I'll click on these blue, uh, the blue lines here and I can press delete and it'll ask me if I want to remove it. What I do want to add is I want to add another section into this uh, page and I'd like to do it with an um, image to the right instead of the left with some text so I'm going to click that option here but before I upload that I've just forgot that I haven't got a title in there and I want the title so I'll just press cancel the uh, box still remains on the page if I press title now 
I can then add a new title and this one's going to be called Dino Notes. If I save that one there, and again I want my title to go above my text box, just go to the blue bar and press the up arrow so it's above. And then again I can go to the blue section on my, um, my, my text and image area here, press the edit button and go through adding content here. So again, I can upload an image. Which again, depending on the size of the image, gives you different crop and zoom options. So I'm just going to zoom in. And when I'm happy with my image, press save. And then I'm going to add some text. And then just like the All Stars uh, one um, text box that I did, I just want to add a link as well. And again, when I'm happy with that page, I can just press save. and that'll bring it up there. Now, once the page is created, I have not added this to my menu bar. There are a couple of ways that you can add it, add, a, add a page to the menu bar. So you can just um, exit page design now, and this area has been saved while you've been doing it. So you can come back to it as well. Um, or you can just press the uh, link button here, which brings up the, uh, the, the menu bar editor. So if I click this here, and I can see here that I've got my page name is carried over, which is Junior Activities. Parent menu, if I select this button here, I can either add it to uh, the main menu bar, the matches section, which is a folder, news and docs, which has a folder as well. So I'm just going to add this to the main menu bar. It'll then ask me where I want the position to be. And the position will always be below the locked pages that you can see down here. But you can see here I've got two site builder pages as well, which are indicated in red with S and B in. So I can either put my new page above these pages or below it on the nav bar. So I'm just going to set above. Now press save here. I've got my junior activities page there. And again, if I need to edit this position in any way, I can just edit it from this edit function here. The other function that's quite useful on this page as well is the unlinked pages which allows you to see any pages that you've created but you haven't added to your menu bar and again you can press edit and add them to your menu bar. Just coming out of this area as well and coming out of page design, coming out of going back to website content, you can see that the menu option is here and again clicking on that from website config just brings you back to the menu config item. Say that I wanted to make the junior activities into a larger section I can just add another folder and I can name my folder um, just activities and I can say that I want it to be positioned on the nav bar above junior activities and then to edit this folder I've got the edit button there but I've also got the edit function of junior activities and if I want to move this page now into that folder I've created I just change the parent menu to activities. There's no below because there's no article in there and press save. At that point it moves the page up and then it's there. You can move site builder pages into these boxes as well. You just do this by clicking on that and again you can change the parent menu to your activities folder. and it will move the site build page into that folder there. So what does this look like on the front end now? If I just press exit admin, you can see that my activities folder is on the menu bar there. And you can see my two pages there. And if I click on junior activities, it shows my all stars and dynamos page.